and welcome to my youtube channel powerpoint university in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create this creative slide in powerpoint you can use this slide for creating brochures for business magazines or as a title slide so let's see how to create this slide in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert tab select shapes and select rectangle draw the rectangle and make the height as 4 inches and make it align center and align middle remove the outline go to insert tab again shapes and select one more time the rectangle draw the rectangle and remove the outline and change the color go to insert again shapes and select right triangle draw the right triangle remove the outline press ctrl D to duplicate and rotate it and align it so I'm just going to create this shape select the rectangle and then the right triangle go to merge shape say subtract, subtract and then one more time subtract it so you got this particular shape you can just adjust the shape where you need so I'm just going to put somewhere in the middle or just to the, the left side go to insert shapes under flowchart select data and put it on top of the new shape remove the outline zoom and align it properly You can change the color right mouse click go to format shape and you can just give some dark shades to this one go to insert shapes and select a triangle We don't need to rotate the triangle sorry for that just bring to the original position and paste it here change the color remove the outline and send to back press ctrl D and bring it down Now you can rotate the shape and just change the color. And align it properly. And send to back. So you got this shape now. just the size is not enough I believe so I'm just going to increase the size 
and increase the triangle size as well yeah this looks good go to insert shapes and select one more time the rectangle and the, draw the rectangle from the right side till this part yeah and change the color to some different color in this case i'm using light blue and make it more outline again under shapes select the right triangle change the color and make it no outline and rotate it and align it properly and you can increase the size I'm just going to increase the size of the rectangle press ctrl D and keep this uh, one side for the later use select both the objects and go to format and union it this becomes one shape now now I'm just going to cut this shape select the free form and just I can cut it the left side of the shape select the this object and the new object and say subtract so you can see this shape is, is like this now then bring this here and I'm just going to cut the, the right side of the object again go to shapes and select freeform and then cut it exactly like I'm doing again subtract it so you got these two shapes now press ctrl D and you can use this on top just align it and rotate it till this it becomes like this make sure it is properly aligned and send to back send backward here and then you can increase the size a little bit Yeah, and you can see there's an um, object which is coming up which is going out of that one so which we need to delete it for that I'm going to use the same methodology select the triangle right triangle and then the new object and make it subtract so this is the way you can cut the object shapes go to insert shapes and select one more time a rectangle and draw till this till here you can change the color to black and you can edit points and from one point you can just drag it to the left so it becomes this shape and this also you can send to back I'm going to fill this one with some image which I have downloaded from internet so any image which you have you can just select that image and insert it
I'm just going to give some shadow effect for this. You can first you can change the color as per your choice. And you can change the color of these rectangles. I'm going to use some pink color or yellow, whatever color which you like. And this one, I'm just making some transparent. Select this object and press Ctrl D. press ctrl D and just increase the transparency level this is for the shadow effect put it this side and then you can see it is some part is coming out so which we need to delete it so for deletion go to insert shapes and select the rectangle align it properly so that that particular area we will delete select the object first and then the rectangle then say subtract press ctrl d, control d one more time and you can increase the transparency level to 75% And this area as well you can delete it with the same methodology yes then you can change this color to black and then it's time to insert the text I'm just going to add some text here call headline change the font to any font which you like in this case I used Helvetica make it bold and increase the font size you can give different colors for this line I'm just going to give some for headline so I'm just going to give the line a different color. And you can add text for other objects as well. change the color font to white press ctrl D and bring this text down here and then again you can change the color and the text so I'm just giving some business so whatever the text you like to add it you can add it And then I'm going to give some small animation effect. Enable the animation pane. Go to more emphasis effects. 
and I'm just going to select some complementary colors. Double click the animation and just make it to slow and repeat end of slide and you can see that the colors are changing for this also I'm just going to give a different uh, effect select color pulse you can just change the color you want and make sure it's with previous Make it slow until end of slide. So this as well I'm just going to make it uh, with previous. And this is how the slide will look like. You can add some more animations if you like. So that's it from me friends. Hope you like this uh, video and don't forget to subscribe my channel for Point University. Till then, goodbye.